yes. If you were to pick up a crafting profession, which one would you pick up? I'm not sure. Should I go do my beast tribe dailies or do you want to just hop into the story? It's up to you. Have you done your beast tribes already? Yep. What a guy. Just playing around with the, uh, my character appearance right now. What a fool. Ryan, don't tell me you're gonna Fantasia. I did. Oh my lord. You don't like Rothgar? Nah, uh, I, I like them, but there's some things that I don't like about them. I've heard a lot of people praise the Hrothgar. There's a lot of people... There's a lot of people who aren't, who aren't traditional FF14 players who... You know, part of the reason why they never got into it is because they didn't like any of the races. Apparently, a lot of them like Hrothgar. Because it's not a typical FF14 race. It's not typical? Hmm? Not typical? Yeah, it's not. Because, like, basically every race is some form of humanoid, right? Like, it's pretty, like, you're like a human with pointy ears, a human with bunny ears, a human with cat ears. They're all basically more or less the same. Whereas a Hrothgar actually looks visibly different. It's a fucking lion guy. It's not just a guy with lion ears. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> so, so guys like, like for instance, wild players who who tend to like things like orcs and stuff like that and Torin, they they look at the Hrothgar and they're like, oh, that's pretty cool.
you know, guys who played Char and stuff in Guild Wars 2, they'd probably like the Rothgar. You must be you must be rerolling to Lalafell though, right? No, I actually I kind of want to go back to my what I was before. Oh my lord! What a noob! Why don't you then? You can have highlights in your hair? What the fuck? Yes, don't tell me you just noticed that. Just noticed that, man. Ryan, every race can do that. set it up so I can listen to music without the stream hearing it because sometimes I just want to listen to music but if I do that then if I try to upload this video to YouTube YouTube's gonna fucking copyright claim the shit out of it <laughs> I, need to, I need to set up like a private channel for music or something Man, I wish you can change like the the armor he wears in the character create. Oh. It would be nice if it was a lot like the the benchmark, because the benchmark lets you preview like a bunch of different sets in the game. Yeah, how come they don't have that? Like, what the fuck? No, they have it in the benchmark. You could preview like a whole ton of different armor sets. Shit, maybe I should download the benchmark. You should. Wait, if I hit confirm on this, is it going to change my character? What do you mean? Uh, yeah. Like... If you say yeah, then probably yeah. Well, it depends on what screen you're at. I would like to save it before I change it, because I don't want to change you it yet. Save, it'll, when you say confirm, it'll be like, do you want to save the appearance? It'll be like, yeah. It's not going to automatically confirm it. It's going to ask you if you want to save it first. Hrothga. Hrothgars? So people like the Hrothgar, right? Yep. I do like him, but he just... He slouches over to What a fool. Get down on the benchmark. I might. How do you, where, where do you download from? Uh, it's the website. The nice thing about the benchmark, Ryan, is it shares uh, it shares the slots, the appearance slots with your client. Huh? It shares appearance slots with your client. So you can create a character on the benchmark and save it, and then you can load it on the client, the main client. Oh. Or if you want, you can load whatever you saved on your client, you can load into the benchmark.
to use that to create characters? Eh, well not really, because I already have... I more or less have the characters I want already saved as templates. I have my I have my Aura saved as a template, I have my Here as a template, I have uh, my Viera as a template. I have like all the races that I would play as as templates already. Hruthgar. Hruthgar. You. There's the Hellions and then the Lost. The Lost look like freaks. What? The, what do you mean? The the Lost are like. I'm pretty sure one of the main characters in FF10 was the Lost. FF10? Mm -hmm. I don't like FF10. Oh, That's when F. That's when Final Fantasy took a nosedive for me, man. Really? Uh, didn't start at 9? <laughs> well, 9 was the beginning of it, and then 10, it just dropped off the cliff. Alright, why well, you gotta hate so much? Why you I, have to I just, I didn't, I didn't like it, like, you know, I, I don't know. Well, they changed the art style in 9, and I didn't like Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, sure. I'm not too big on art style in 9 either. Eight was good. Like I liked eight. Eight was a good game. Well, eight was a, um, the art style. Eight was, was a what, more continuation of FF seven. Yeah, it's a continuation of FF seven, and it wasn't as good as FF seven, but it was it was decent enough. In for, fact, for Final Fantasy, eight took it. Eight basically took what FF seven wanted to be, because like FF seven was forced to use the smaller sprites, right? But like art style wise, they were trying to go for what FF eight was. FF8 used fully, fully, uh, full size, full scale, uh, 3D models. Wait, sorry, what do you not like about 10? Hmm? What was it you don't like about 10? Uh, Tidus? <laughs> <laughs> but what about 12? You played 12. Are you saying you like Vaughn? Um, well, I don't like Vaughn, but I like the art style. And, and I like the gameplay of 12. You don't, you don't like Bosch von Monsenberger? I, I don't even remember who the fuck that was. <laughs> and then 13 was like, I don't know, the way they changed the game in 13, it was more linear and I didn't... Like, you couldn't really explore the world anymore, it was just like, you follow the path, and that's... Uh, 13 was interesting, like, the music was interesting and stuff, and the characters... The characters were kind of... they seemed annoying, to, for the most part, to be honest. I don't know if... I don't think I liked any of the characters in 13. No? No, like I can't think of any of the characters I liked in that game. Maybe Lightning, but Lightning was eh. She was kind of bitchy sometimes. You think the Rothgar looks better with fangs or no fangs? Mm, I like small fangs. I don't like them when they're too big, but no fangs looks kind of weird. Trying to get rid of these, like, looks like he's wearing, like, some sort of eyeshadow or something underneath his eyes, and I, I don't know how to get rid of it. Explore the options. I mean, there's tons of options you can turn on and off. It might, it might be like a tattoo or something.
I can make him have a mustache. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He's got some weird facial hair options. To take a while for this thing to download? Mm, I don't think so. It's not that big. I think it's a few. It's, I think it's a few gigabytes in size, but nothing too bad. I guess I have to shut the game down for for me to use this. Uh, probably. I haven't tried. I haven't tried running it while FF14 is up. Okay, well, I guess I will quit for now. Is it done already? Uh, I don't know. I it we downloaded the zip. Watching Planet of the Apes on oh my lord. What, the old one or the not so old one? The James Franco one? Oh my. Wait, how do I. Why is this not full screen? Hmm. How do I get my character in here? Just load the pace data. Where's that button? Create, create a character. Ah! Oh my lord, it's a lollipop. Yeah. Wait, how do I change what he what he's wearing? Should stream so I can check out the monstrosity you're making. How do I change what he's wearing though? Uh, I can't remember. There's a way. Uh, I don't know, like, do I know there's a way to, to preview outfits, but I, I don't know if it only works for Viera and Hrothgar. How come I can only view Dark Knight outfits? Well, yeah, see, that's the thing. Uh, I think, I think for, I think it, it, may, it may only work for Viera and Hrothgar. What the fuck? I can only still view the Dark Knight. I don't know, man. Go try googling it, cause I know it can be done. I've seen I've seen streamers do it.
find out how. Done with my dailies, but um, I'm gonna I'll just be right back with you first, um, so you can keep checking out and see if you can find the thing. I'll be back in a sec.
Fucking dick. Did you figure it out? Nope. Uh, I'm actually running <laughs> the benchmark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, um. I just want to finish it and see what score I get. Okay. I think it's almost finished. Well, what part is that? He's fighting some weird guy in a top hat. The fuck? Should we download the right now? Yeah. Weird guy in a top hat. Nine thousand six hundred ninety. Is that good? <laughs> oh, that's extremely high. Me. Go back. Load in the game. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep going with Rossi car for now. Me. <clears throat> I don't know, it just seems weird. Because <laughs> I went through A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward and Stormblood with my Mikote, and, and now I'm a different race. It's just weird seeing that. Well, I can understand. I mean... Like, that's that's part of the reason why I went back to my aura. Because uh, my, um, my aura... It, it don't... Huh? Oh, I was just gonna say, it's almost like my original character got tossed aside. What was the original character? It was uh, Mikote. No, the original character. You weren't Mikote from the beginning. Oh, my very first one was, I think it was a hero. He got tossed aside. Yeah. And then I went through Heaven's Ward and Stormblood with my Mikote. Eh. Eh. That, like I said, that's part of the reason why I went back to Ora, because like... Usually when I do the main story, I do it as an overall. But, uh... I mean, like... They're all kind of part... They're all kind of like different identities of the same person. Or something. I don't know. Like, I've kind of owned... Uh, here for a while as well, so... Like, that that almost feels as natural to me now as Aura does. Although Aura's still my OG. Fuck, I shouldn't have left. I'm in a queue. <laughs> well, it can't be that long. Oh, there we go. You have a meal plan for you and Dad for the next week? Uh, eat out. Every night. Or is it gonna be a curry every night? <laughs> Something like that. Well, Dad said he's willing to bring some stuff home. If, if, like, if we put an order in it, let's say Bob likes Thai. So, he's willing to do that. As well. She? Although he's gonna be flying tomorrow and on Saturday, so for tomorrow lunch, dinner, and then Saturday breakfast and lunch I'll most likely be on my own. Well, that's not the bad thing. Well no, I'm just saying, like that's just for the next little while I'll be on my own. Which makes it easier, I can just order whatever I want. Where do we have to go? Doman Enclave. Doma. Doma. They pronounce Doma so weird. Like they emphasize the A? Or I don't know. Like Like when they say Doma, they don't say Doma, they say like Doma. Like Doma. Like they pronounce they they accentuate the A a little more. 
Yeah. So have you given up on on getting Shadowbringers before <laughs> we leave for the cruise? Uh, I think I'm just resigned to the fact that we're gonna have to stop midway. Yeah. Just just hopefully like we'll just have to pick a good moment. Like we won't we don't if you want, we don't have to keep questing until the very last day. If we're like let's say a couple days away from the vacation and, and you feel like we're at a good point to stop, you can just be like, let's stop here for now. Problem is that rarely happens. It usually happens where I'm like, we're getting into a story and it's like go 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 go. Yeah, well, I mean that's what happens when you have a good story. Did you talk to him. And I'm expecting, already? I'm expecting that for Shadowbringers because apparently the story is really good. Yep. Did you talk to him already? Yep. I'm going into the thing now. Ah, my theme song. No. I, I gotta say, it's gonna be nice having an expansion focused around your, your profession. Ryan, last last expansion was Samurai. This one is Dark Knight's Time to Shine. I don't know, it didn't really feel like just a Samurai story. Specific, specifically. Well, I mean, to be fair, everything is like Eastern theme. Fucking, there's Samurais everywhere. I thought you were turning to like a European type theme in Shadowbringer. Uh, seems like it. Well, more more fairy fairy tale than anything. I'm gonna miss that uh, little quest complete jingle. Yeah. Maybe be... the new one's better. Well, it better be. I haven't really heard it yet. Ready to bid farewell to Doma? Where are we going then? Going back to frickin' Alamiga? Alamigo? Maybe back to yours, yeah. Fuck that. I'm heading to Robert's Reach. Hey. <laughs> Owned. I started doing that uh, Dome and Restoration quest. Yeah, how, well, how, what is it all about? Well, you're basically, the first part is going back to... Fuck man, you can get a Palico as a minion? I want one. Where do you get that? Are you in Rogger's Reach? Come on, come over here. Hey, where do you get that? Yep, yeah, we probably gotta do the Monster Hunter quest. Fuck, I 
want one now. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, what was the question? I forgot what the question was. The question is, what was the question? Oh, you were asking me, um, you in a cutscene? Yep. Uh, do you want me to answer your question? I don't even remember, I don't remember what the question was. It was, uh, how's the Doman Restoration? The first part is, um, you basically about go back to Mordona to tell the Domans, Doman refugees living there that they can come back to Doma now. And the first part is helping them, like, sort of wrap everything up there in Mordona so they can leave. But it's kind of... you have to do like a bunch of side quests too. Ah. What happened to this guy's eye? I don't know. They buried him? Oh my lord. Well, the guy was fucking dead. What do you want him to do? Just leave I his... I just kick him to the side. He doesn't deserve a burial. Okay there, chief. Let him rot in this ditch somewhere. Okay there, chief. Here, let me just step on your plans here. Good old Scions. Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Let us away. Let us be about it? Yes. Why do they speak so weirdly? We must needs check his grave. What was the other one? Pray tell, what has become of Lord Xenos? By the Twelve! Come, come, Ryan. We must. We must check this out. True, Griffin! Ew. Ew, Griffin. Yulmore? Hey, when are we gonna get to Yulmore? What's that? What's the name of the new town? When we get through this fucking quest, man, Jesus! 
Aren't you gonna miss this? Aren't you gonna miss Stormblood? No. I wonder if what's the for story dinner? for. What's for <laughs> Shut up. They're hyping the story up for Shadowbringer so much, I might get let down. <laughs> well, I need a discussion plan. Okay, let us continue. I'm already continuing. I'm in a cutscene. Oh dear, we seem to be missing a corpse. Well, it must be somewhere. I only hope it isn't walking around. Why does that guy look like a spy? We got traitors amongst us? Seems like it. Seems like we have Garlean spies or something. Don't worry, Thancred, you can put the grave back where you found it, right? <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> oh shit, we poured it all the way back here. Rianje? Yes, Rianje. I, I thought he was a bad guy. Wasn't he a bad guy? It seemed like he was a bad guy. He wasn't, he wasn't really, though. He was just being mysterious. Also, hey look, it's Rory Boulder. What? Rory Boulder! Oh my. Uh, <laughs> I like how every time we have to explain the story, it just pans up. Let's take a family trip to frickin' Garlemald. No thank you. Let's do it. Alpha Node, you're on your own. Oh. 
<laughs> Cuts to an alphanaut in a prison cell. A lot of Magitech. Try your weapon? Okay, never mind. <laughs> the fuck? It's flying this. Oh my god. It's flying a stupid little helicopter thingy. Long cutscenes. Did you set the table already? What? Uh, I got distracted, so I'm a little bit behind. Oh, okay. Uh, there's gonna be some cutscenes coming up. Yeah, I'm in a cutscene right now. No, no, like, have you sat at the table? No. Okay, I'm gonna set the table. I just saw the guy fly his little thingy. <laughs> yeah, so stupid. There's gonna be some... It's saying that there's gonna be a sequence of cutscenes next, so... So get comfortable is what you're saying? Well, I'm starting the cutscenes now, so yeah. But I don't know, this is not voiced over. That's just text, so what the fuck?
Uh oh. the hell is this? <laughs> it's a dreams come true, Ryan. Oh my freaking lord. I have like magic? Like the hell? Play self no but come on. <laughs> yes. And you're gonna like it. You're gonna roll a scholar after this. Funny thing is this is nothing like scholar. Oh shit. Well I only have three abilities, so whatever. Fuck off and all your freaking weak. <laughs> Is he a healer?
Dude, that guy's got a gun blade. Who are these freaks? I love the Stormblood music. Hmm? I love Stormblood music. Oh, mom's boarding. Text mom, she's uh, she's boarding the plane already. What? You text mom, she's boarding the plane already.
gun blades everywhere. Yeah, boy. This guy killed a bunch of Asians. The fuck? That seems to be the implication. Is that all on part of imagination? <laughs> hmm. New mount. Huh? This new mount looks so derpy. I'd rather not.
Oh boy. Things are heating up rather quickly. Are we like halfway through the this thing already? We're getting close to Shadowbringers. Oh really? So we're more than halfway then? Yeah. When we finished our stuff in Domo, we were 60% of the way there already. Where are you at? I'm in Alamigo Quarter. Man, you left without me? Fuck. Yep. Uh, the, that burn duty thing was, uh... Huh? That, that burn duty was, um... Uh... One of the I thought I thought it was a dungeon. Duty, duty. Where's this thing? I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Hey, Snake Raid. Let me fetch you a cup of water. We need to think of me a waiter. Yeah. That ain't water. That's my piss. Uh, God, I needed that. I won't bother telling you to catch your breath. Whatever brought you galloping back to us, I assume it's urgent. Quiet. Without further ado, then. After the successful uprisings in Doma and Alamigo, rebels in several other provinces were inspired to follow suit. Unfortunately, they did not fare quite so well. The Dalmascans paid the heaviest price. For their defiance, the Emperor made a show of raising their capital to the ground prompting many of their neighbors to abandon thoughts of resistance. But not all have given up on liberty. Heartened by the news of Doma's prisoner exchange, some still believe that the Empire may one day be amenable to negotiation. We have the Shinobi to thank for spreading the good word. They have worked tirelessly to keep the subjugated informed, and a little knowledge can go a long way. There is at least a spark of hope, then. A spark in want of kindling, yes. The Alliance has already begun supplying materiel to resistance movements abroad, many of whom would otherwise struggle to continue the fight. The support effort has been led by the Sultana and the Elder Seedseer, who have both seen enough Alamegan refugees to know the consequences of oppression. And for their troubles, they have quickly earned a reputation as folk heroes in certain corners of the Empire. That is all for the provinces. As for the Garlean motherland itself. Our friends, the Populares, have suffered something of a setback, I regret to say. Talk is rife that Doma has summoned a primal. And the Empire's more liberal voices are being drowned out in the fearful clamor for retribution. And who did they think orchestrated this summoning? Oh, any but those truly responsible. Xenos has seen to that. Speaking of whom, the Crown Prince is recovering remarkably well. Well enough, in fact, to enable him to personally tour the provinces, putting the fear of the Emperor into the hearts of any would-be dissidents. He walks in plain sight, and none suspect him. Then it's as we feared. Yes. 
and Asian wears his skin. But it was not that which brought me here in such haste. During my time in the provinces, I learned many things. Yet at no point did I hear any report of a Doman emissary in the capital. But Albano should have arrived by now. Could they be holding in there in secret? The possibility did cross my mind, but I have reason to believe he never reached his destination. As you know, scions assigned to covert operations such as Riol and myself are issued special link pearls for communication in the event of an emergency. I mention this because it was originally Alfino's task to coordinate the response at headquarters, meaning he has one. And whose voice should I hear when mine recently crackled to life? You spoke with Alphano? Spoke with? No. I but heard his voice, and none too clearly at that. Two words were all I could make out. The burn. The wasteland on the edge of Othard. Something must have happened to them there. There's no time to waste. We must make for the burn at once. I had a feeling you might say that. And? I can't very well sit around here drinking tea if Alphano's in trouble. You said yourself that this link pill was only to be used in emergencies. So I'm going, and that's the end of it. Oh, far be it from me to change your minds. Maybe we are going to do a dungeon in the burn. Port us, bitch. You port us, you son of a donkey. Donkey. Doma. I feel like we, we were just here. This is supposed to be taking place over a course of a period of time, right? Yeah? These events are supposed to have a period of time between them.
you're gonna be like, what's up, what's up, Ian? Oh. It's been too long. It's been like a year, hasn't it? sure this is the dungeon coming up. Oh really? Fuck. Ah. Yeah. Everyone's going? Jeebus. Let's make it a party! Well, if it's if it's indeed a dungeon, I might have to wait till Saturday. Yeah. Or I might do it on my red mage. Right! Just get it. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> I went to uh, House of the Fierce. Wow! Ryan, you gonna ride your griffin? Gripon? Gripon? I gotta go to bed soon, man. Well, we're almost there. We can stop as soon as we hit the dungeon. How long is that gonna be? <laughs> we're heading there right now. No, no, no. Where the hell are you guys? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, check this out. Uh, actually, uh, I can show you afterwards. Oh, let's sit right here. Yeah. Jeebus. I like how you're still looking at the bird and it's like, that's a fine mount, maybe I should do Bardom's Metal. What are you showing me? Ah, uh, hold on. Check it out. It's my new warrior outfit. New warrior outfit? Yeah. Where'd you get that from? I bought it. Wow. Is it level... Is that part of the, some of the new gear? Uh, no. It's actually old. This is like... This is, a uh, Dreadmirum stuff. Well, hi, Alligan. Ew. I like it. It looks nice. When can I have a glowy? Uh, look at... It, the nice thing is it also works with my gunbreaker. See? Hey, you're not allowed to have a gunbreaker. I'm a gunbreaker! Oh. I want... I want... Glowy. Look at this peasant and his non-glowy. Get out of here. Man, where's your glowy, man? What the hell? Alright, I guess I'm stopping here. But man, even this guy's a glowy. Get that shit out of here. Oh wait, the fuck? <laughs> you forgot to change your... You forgot God to change damn your it. thing. 
Well, technically you have a glow, you just don't equip it. Oh. Guyborg? Guyborg? Guy. Guy. Do you like the gunblade stance? Or gunbreaker stance? I keep wanting to say gunblade. I like I like this armor because it's kinda like an overcoat. Owned. It's it's an overcoat, but it's got armor. I I was getting tired of the uh you know, the fucking fur and shit with the warrior. Yeah. This way, this armor kind of looks like it could be for a dark knight, but it's like for my warrior, so. I like the, I like the red and black in this armor. Kind of reminds me of Devil May Cry. All right, I think it's time for me to go to bed. Oh my lord! Get sleepy. <gasps> me too, man. <sighs> oh shit, dude. I hope I don't sleep in tomorrow. Fuck. I might go to bed, dude. It's not even twelve yet, and I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Yeah. Ryan, if I sleep in tomorrow, it's your fault. It's your fault. I don't want to go to work, I just want it to be the weekend. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go do laundry and then go to, and then go to bed after that, so... Uh, good night. Good night, bitch. Meow. Yeah.